What's going on guys? Dave here. I've got a tip for you today. You ever had that situation where you just have RDAs and freaking bottles of juice and shit just laying everywhere? Well today I have a tip for you. Only cost you about $12.99 off of Amazon and a drill bit. And you can place up to about 50 RDAs on this rack. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, I'm not going to actually go into drilling the holes and everything for it. You can figure that out yourself. Pretty easy but I'll give you the tips on doing so. Um, you know, I, I kind of got irritated. I was using kind of a makeshift rack, things like that, but it doesn't hold enough. It holds maybe 10 or so of my atomizers. I was really getting irritated. So um, kind of been scheming, playing around with things, ended up finding this out. I think you guys are going to like it. All right, so like I said, if you have, have any kind of RDAs and stuff, pay no mind to the rest of that crap back there. Normally you don't end up seeing that in my videos, but um, if you have a bunch of RDAs and stuff, you know what this looks like. You end up with this, whether you want them to or not. You know, and you can cause leaks with your RTAs, with your RDAs, crap starts leaking out the sides and so forth. So yeah, I kind of wanted to fix that and I kind of wanted to organize it so that, oh, hey, I feel like using my uh, dot mod today and you can just reach over and grab that. Or I want to use this tip and you can end up doing that. So I'm going to get all these out of the way here real quick. Put them in the, of course, handy dandy lap. Preferably without dropping anything. And I will hunt down uh, from my Amazon list and uh, put the link down below. So this is what I ended up coming up with. Now, if you've seen one of my other videos, you'll see I have a rack that hangs, or actually two racks that hang up behind me. And I use them for both paint and for holding juice. Well, what this is, is it's an ac uh, acrylic uh, nail color rack, I think is what they end up calling it. Calling it. And it's fully for holding... Uh, nail color for women's nails and since I'm always playing around with stuff I went you know what I bet you could put holes in there to hold your RDAs and yes you can over and over you can get hold up uh, to th even like uh, the Mason 30 millimeter there's still room you can go uh, maybe 35 millimeters I don't think it'd hold the 40 millimeter. But yeah, check out how awesome that is. Keeps them all organized, upright. I still need to do some cleanup. You are going to get a little bit chipping. Um, you know, you can probably go a little more professional looking as far as drilling. I didn't really care. It's going on my shelf. It's not for resale. It's something for me to end up using. So what I ended up doing is I ended up measuring out the marks. You can kind of see the marks there. And I'm using a 5 16th drill bit. And I measured it out 30 millimeters in between space. That gives it plenty of space for guys like this. But you also end up with plenty of room in between. Um, and then one of these bottom, I may end up doing bigger holes for your 510 uh, drip tips. Uh, or I may uh, do something on the side here. I don't, I don't know on that part. So uh, measured out. 30 millimeters in between and of course every 15 millimeters uh, end up marking to drill a hole. I'm not going to do that because that's going to be loud as fuck right now. Um, but yeah, I am super stoked on this. I think I measured out you can put about 50 on here. If you've got more than that, you have an addiction problem, you need rehab. Um, this bottom rack you can use for your favorite mods. Of course, I've got the Boss 3000 from Vaporized Nomads on there. Um, what else have I got? <clears throat> you can put some juice in here. If you decide to only use one, two, you don't have to do them all at once. You can do like I did, two racks and then one. Uh, you can put juice on two of the other racks, however you end up wanting to do that. Um, your imagination is the limit. I don't know if you can get these into other colors. You can put a light underneath. Um, you can do whatever, you can spray paint it if you want, if you want to have it all black. Uh, this is about, I believe, uh, here, since I have it, um, 16 inches wide, seven inches tall, 
and about eight and a half inches deep. And one of the things you can do if you're tight on space, you can actually drill, I would probably do about three holes, um, but you can do a couple holes on here and mount it to the wall because on the side here, you do have acrylic sides that um, they actually bolt on. There's two bolts on each side. So you can end up doing that as well, clear off some space uh, on the ground. And I think it'd hold up pretty well. Um, I haven't had any issues. I've dropped it a couple times uh, intentionally to see if I'd end up with any chipping. And the only chipping is getting a little rough with the drill and drilling out the holes. Um, slow and steady wins the race on that so that you don't end up cracking it. But it goes really well. And I wanted to share that tip with you guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, stick around. I've got a lot more videos coming up. I'm starting to get back into the video mode. Um, I am going to um, finish drilling out the holes that I want on here and then uh, put this over on the wall or actually on the, the shelf over there and uh, get cranking with some more stuff tonight. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Don't forget if you are in the Pontotoc area that the Vaporized Nomad store is having a customer appreciation day tomorrow on Saturday from one till I think it's four or something like that with uh, barbecue and chips and soda and stuff like that and door prizes. So definitely go over and check that out. Um, I will talk to you all later. Everyone have a great one. Peace out.